Hello everybody and welcome to Planet Zoo. So, you might be wondering what's going on here. So, well, it says it in the title of the video. So, we're actually checking out a couple of Planet Zoo mods. I say a couple. We're checking out pretty much every remaster of almost every animal in the game, really. To bring them more up to speed and bring them more in line with the current quality of some of the animals that are present in the game. So there's a whole bunch of mods here made from all different creators. There's mods by Kaboy, there's mods by Nar Whaler, uh, Dr. Hyena, and I think a couple of other guys are in here too. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of animals, but we're going to start with the number one favorite of mine, the Red Panda, if we can hop onto it. Our Red Panda? Okay, I'm just going to have to... Okay, we can't. <laughs> Come on. Oh, here we go. So our red panda here is a bit changed, so the face is somewhat revised to resemble more of a real red panda, and we've also got a few new variants. So this one right here looks to be more of a Himalayan red panda, also known as the Nepalese red panda, which you'll find in the mountains of India, Nepal, and Bhutan, and some other areas. And then over here, um, you have the Chinese red panda, which has that largely red face. So, honestly, this does so much for me in terms of uh, how the Red Panda looks, as I've always somewhat disliked how the Red Pandas looked in Planet Zoo. And obviously, the mods aren't perfect, but they are certainly a step up. And they look fantastic. I really love how this Red Panda looks. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> look at him. And, um, oh, we're going to eat a banquet, are we? But we can't hang around with the Red Panda forever, as there are a bunch of other animals to check out. Now, to save me having to build a whole lot of habitats, I've actually just gone ahead and made some mixed species habitats. So in here, we have a whole whole range. So here we have our plain zebra, which has seen a little bit of a change. So um, I think some places in the head, the stripes, and in um, the mane. But there are also some added variants. So if we can find another zebra, uh, we might be able to see some of those newer variants. Like there is a Birchall's... Um, plain zebra but this one right here is the quagga project so the plain zebras are being selectively bred to bring back an extinct subspecies the quagga and yeah i really love how that was brought in here now you can have animals in your zoos that are well somewhat <laughs> leading to the revitalization of the quagga i don't know if revitalization was the right word but we're going to roll with it another animal we have in here is our cape buffalo well, it's African buffalo in the game, but it's really a Cape buffalo, as there are actually two kinds. The Cape buffalo being the one that we have in the game, and the forest buffalo, which we do not. And, yeah, I really love how this looks. The horns look fantastic. The textures in the skin and the fur really look great. And here's our male um, with a grayer coloration. Now, Cape buffalo come in all shades of blacks and grays, have many different variations in the horns, and also carry many marks from experiences in the wild. So yeah, he's looking great there. Um, the Dharma Gazelle also got a remaster. More to like update some of the textures, but also to add a few new variants. So many of the Dharma Gazelle additions in this mod are sort of other subspecies of the Dharma Gazelle. So there's like, I think one's called the Mora Gazelle. Um, I'm not, not sure, but... Like, it, it will really give you some variation in your gazelles. We also have our Gemsbok remaster, which adds a whole range of new variants to the Gemsbok. So you've got this one, which is sort of like, almost like a tapir <laughs> in its, um, Malayan tapir in its look. And there's a regular Gemsbok, but we also do have um, a couple of others. So this one right here is a, I want to say a leucistic, um, ivory Gemsbok. Yeah, so we've got a good couple of them. The Adax also got um, some ad additional variants. So this is our winter coat Adax, and this is our much paler Adax right there. So you can have um, various different Adaxes at, from different times of the year, or just um, to vary your herd. The common ostrich also s saw a bit of a change. So the head's been changed a little bit more. I think the necks um, had a, a bit of a change. But there's also some additional subspecies with the common ostrich, like the Maasai ostrich and Somali ostrich, all that sort of stuff, to really give you a variety of ostriches to choose from. So you can you can choose the kind of common ostrich you want to display. 
the bongo saw a bit of a remaster particularly to the the back um that that head that fur that goes down the spine the horns have also seen a bit of a change fur textures i think it's best that we look at our male and yeah some of the changes are um, important in making it closer to the real animal i think the heads had a bit of a facelift as well in certain areas but it looks great the bongo is one of my favorite antelope and i'm glad that it got a bit of a remaster springbok also got one um adding some new variants and changing some aspects of the model making the colors a bit more intense i think even changing the horns a little bit more but yeah I, and I th on some individuals you can sort of see that pouch of hair a bit better on this one um you can kind of see more of that but it doesn't of course expand but this is a, i think a king springbok yeah so it's slightly piebald as well it seems uh ah one of my favorites the common warthog remaster changes the fur textures uh on the animal and adds a few things that were missing on the base warthog so it makes it a lot better i think if we find one of our male warthogs um you'll be able to see a bit more of a difference here he is so yeah you can see here he's seen a a, a bit of a change to the skull shape in some ways and of course to that fur texture uh our southern white rhinos have also had a remaster now i'll just let you know these are all mods so this is not official just for um in case you didn't hear me state before but um our southern white rhinoceros has had a few changes one being the length of its legs to be a bit different the horns and um some some of the aspects of how um the animal is shaped in the body but also the calf if we were to have a um, baby white rhino in here at this time you would see that it is much larger than the one we have in the base game as the one we have in the base game is very small uh, next is our sable antelope that has seen a bit of a remaster adding some additional subspecies but also changing some of the textures and color intensities so i think we actually have an eastern sable antelope um female in here um this might be her let's just, let's see um Okay, that's not her. That might be her. Yep, an eastern sable antelope. There's also the giant sable antelope as well. Uh, let's see, are there any other animals I've missed? Uh, well, we'll get to the giraffes. Um, but Black Wildebeest has seen a bit of a, rem a remaster. Some additional hairs um, added to the face. And I think the beard has been changed a little bit more. And that um, hanging hair from the chest. So it's looking really good. Um bit closer in quality compared with the blue wildebeest so it looks really good lastly is our reticulated giraffe which saw some changes to the legs the head the neck and also to the variety of patterns um well i say variety of patterns more pattern colors um so there's all sorts of colors that you can get your reticulated giraffes in now i think that's everyone um Next, we'll have a look at our Bengal Tigers, which have seen a really good change. So, particularly to the face and some of the colours as well, they can get these tigers in. So, there's a few additional variants. So, the Golden Tabby Tiger was added alongside the Eurasia Animal Pack, but this is a pure white tiger. So, without the black stripes interfering, it's completely snow white. But yeah, the Bengal Tiger looks absolutely fantastic. But I think out of the Tiger Remasters, even though this one looks fantastic, I think the Siberian Tiger uh, really had it knocked out of the park. It looks phenomenal. Um, I think it ha I think it was updated to not have such a distinct mane as it did in some of the images that you can see on the mod page. But it still looks fantastic. I really love how this guy looks. And um, so both... The female and the male had a bit of a remaster, so I think some of the stripes, intensities, and just the fur textures as well. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. One of the most impressive remasters I've seen is that of the saltwater crocodile, giving it some more of the realistic colours, making the scoots more in, um, more intense and stick out a bit more, and give it more colour variations that you'd see in a variety of saltwater crocodiles. It also changed the skull shape a little bit more. So now it really looks like a proper saltwater crocodile, not just being blue. Uh, let's see. We also have um, the females that have seen a bit of a change. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. Wait, did I just swap? Oh, no. The female was just going through. 
Uh, we also have, I think, this guy. Yep, a yellow and green saltwater crocodile. So you'll come across these every now and then if you're looking for them in the Northern Territory of Australia or anywhere else um, in their range. But yeah, the saltwater crocodiles seem one of the best remasters, I think. This is one of my favorites easily because it really just changes how you look at the salty. Looks fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at our, some of our Australian animals. So... We've got our koala in a tree right here, so the koala got a pretty good remaster. Uh, made the ears a bit fluffier, but I feel like um, the ears are a bit too big um, for a northern koala. These koalas are looking somewhat more similar to that of the southern koala, which is not the one that we actually have in the game. But it looks great, nonetheless. Like the head, uh, like everything else about the body looks looks pretty good the ears just for me look a bit too large for a southern uh, for a southern but uh, not southern a northern koala <laughs> uh before we get to my favorite in this paddock uh we also have the emu which got a little bit of a remaster in terms of adding some new variants as well as changing the head so according to the modder the head of the emu that was released with the grasslands animal pack its head was more similar to that of a sub-adult or a juvenile emu. Um, so that has been changed here in this mod, giving it the adult's um, full prowess in terms of its head. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I love how this emu looks. And some of the variants here includes this much darker emu and this blonder um, emu right here. But easily my favorite um, mod in this enclosure is that of the red kangaroo. So the red kangaroo has seen a proper facelift. It no longer um, looks as tunified as I think it looked uh, too stylized. Um, now it actually has the face that you would associate with a red kangaroo. So it looks absolutely fantastic there with a proper red kangaroo's face. I love that. Yeah, it look, looks great. <laughs> I can't say it enough. These mods are absolutely fantastic. Oh, you got a licking its arms for some capillary action. So you got our female here, and you can really see the, the changes that have been made to the head if you've looked at the red kangaroo before. Some of the fur textures have also been changed as well. So that's all really good. Um, over here we have our African bush elephants. So they've seen a couple of changes to their textures. Um, I think the legs are maybe a bit longer, but also um, to their coloration. So there's more variation in colors. So you've got these browner elephants and... Um, the grayer elephants as well. So they've got a bit more variety in how colorful um, or like what color the elephants will come in. Uh, let's keep going up here. We've got our black rhinos, which saw a bit of a change. Now, even though the head was changed, the black rhino for me personally still looked a bit on the uh, thicker side. But this, this mod fixes that, making it look a lot more athletic and also changing the textures on the horns as well, at least the color of the horns as well as adding a brown um, black rhino. So this is a rhino that you'll often see um, around a much, much lighter in color black rhino with more brown coloration than gray. So I'll really add some variety to the black rhinos that you have in your parks. Over here, we've got our dingoes. So the dingo um, saw a remaster for a bit of the face but also in terms of the color variations for those who don't know dingoes are actually very variable in how they will look they've got a whole range of color variations that you can find them in i didn't get some of the best ones in here but there are certainly some really good ones so there's all sorts of shades of, of um the grays the oranges and the yellows i've also got these black backed um dingoes right here so they look fantastic and um, we also have our our cougars which have seen a bit of a change to the faces might just um, stand stand her up so we can have a good look at you so yeah it's primarily to the face that the cougars had a bit of a change um and yeah it looks really good and the, some of the fur textures too like it really now looks like a proper cougar um or mountain lion, or puma, or however you'd like to call them. I wonder if that should be an option in the game. <laughs> you can change 
the name of um, the animal based on your preferences. Now, if you can't hear that already, we also have some wolves. So these are our timber wolves, which have seen some great changes. So the head has been changed a bit more to resemble the real thing. And yeah, it's been given a whole range of color variations. So you've got these much whiter wolves. You've also got the um, grayer wolves, the uh, black wolves, even though that was added officially. But yeah, you, you can get um, your grey wolves in a whole range of colour variations that you wouldn't have been able to previously. Also, let me just say, this guy is huge. Oh, he's not even max size, but he's a lot bigger than most of the other wolves in the enclosure. Up here we have our arctic wolves, which I haven't actually had a really good look at uh, while I've had the mods on them. But you can see some of the changes have been made to the faces. Um, and to some of the fur textures, and have also had some additional color variations added onto them. So they look really good now, and I, yeah, they, they look fantastic. Always loved Arctic Wolves, and I think they did a stellar job on these. Aha! Another one of my favorite remasters is for our reindeer. So the reindeer, they all had the same antlers previously. No matter what uh, what sex the reindeer was, whether it was male or female, the antlers would not change. Here, you do have some variation. So the males have much larger uh, branching antlers that you would find indicative of the males that you would find in the wild. But you also have the females with much smaller spindly antlers. And it would be nice if we got some horn and antler variation in our animals. That way they could come in a variety of shapes but i think this subtle change is well i say subtle not so subtle um but this change to the reindeer's antlers really does a lot for them and really gives them an iconic look we also have our doll sheep which even though you can't really see it here they've had some changes to the horns and the textures but also got some new variations particularly the stone sheep which is a much grayer version of the doll sheep Doll sheep, a subspecies. Next, we have our grizzly bears, which are not as thick as before and have seen a few more color variations added onto them. The faces have also been changed to bring them more in line with the real thing. But yeah, I understand bears are somewhat difficult to get right, but, um, and, and especially with the already established rig of how they walk, you can't really change that. But, um, yeah, it looks really good. I love how this grizzly bear now looks. And, yeah, I'll certainly be probably using this one from now on and, unless we get an official remaster at some point. Another bear that's seen a remaster is our polar bear. So the polar bear has seen a remaster in terms of, like, adding some more color variations. You can even get a browner polar bear, a more yellow polar bear. I think even a green one, which is inspired by these polar bear that lived at Singapore Zoo for a time but the head's also been changed somewhat it I don't know what it is about the head of this remastered polar bear it just for me it doesn't look right um for me but that that could just be me everyone else might might love it but uh yeah it just looks a bit odd <laughs> in my personal opinion but as I said the mods aren't perfect they get that they're, they're very good and they really take the animals up a notch. But um, just something about that face I, I don't really like. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, what I can tell you with that one. Um, here we have our sand cat, which um, on release did have a bit of a backlash in terms of how the face looked, how it looked a bit too... Um, it, it, it looked odd, and I will agree with that. But here, the face has been changed somewhat. The eyes are a bit closer together, and personally, I think it looks cuter. Um, less like Puss in Boots. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really good here. It looks much more like the Sand Cat in terms of the face now than it did previously. And I don't know if it added extra variations. I think it was more just to the head that it changed. But um, yeah, it looks great. One of the reptiles in the game that has had a bit of criticism towards it was the Nile monitor now its pattern originally was very much stylized and the animal itself was very stylized but this remaster here really changes that and you get to see um 
a proper uh, remastered pattern to the Nile Monitor, and it really looks a lot closer to the real thing than the official Planet Zoo one does. And there are a few changes to the head. I think the head um, is either a bit longer or it's a bit shorter. But I'm opting for the longer side. I think the tail's also been extended as well. But yeah, this guy looks really good. And yeah, they've got all different color variations as well. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Some of our African predators. So in here we have our remastered spotted hyenas. As I know, a lot of people think that the current one looks a lot too dog-like and um, cartoony. This one has uh, was made by Dr. Hyena. Um, and, uh, yeah, changes it in a way that makes it look a lot more realistic. Although I feel, I feel like it looks a bit too sad. It, look, it looks sad. <laughs> like the, eye, the eyelids are down in um, a way that makes it look like it's a bit sad about its day. But yeah, you can see major changes to the head, um, shape, the ears, the the mane on the back. But yeah, this is this is an improvement over the current hyena, and I would really love to see um, potentially other remasters for the spotted hyena to see um, how much variation we can get. Another album that saw a remaster is the cheetah, as the cheetah was very much a stylized animal in the base Planet Zoo. Now the head has been made a bit smaller to better resemble the real the real thing. It's much more lightweight, um, less fluffy, and yeah, it looks like a cat that's built for speed. And I see, I could, I, I probably say this looks so much like the real cheetah. Looks really good. Love how it looks. And we've also got a couple more variations here, all that are currently present in the game, like the king cheetah and the spotless cheetah. Another animal that has seen a change is our African wild dogs. So they have been given extra patterns. Um, there's more whites, there's more dark, darker colors. The heads have been changed as well. The only thing I would say is the ears look like they go straight um, a bit too often. Like I've, I've seen African wild dogs myself and I, I've, ne I've rarely seen their ears go s so straight up like that. But hey, it must happen um, if it's been included here. But maybe if they just um, kept them to out outward a bit more, um, I'd be okay with that. And for the African wild dogs that I've seen, um, many of them have actually had a bit more of a mane going around their neck than what's seen here. But that, that that's just my personal experience. I think the wild dogs here have been um, taking more inspiration from the wild individuals. Although I think... Wild dogs in the wild do have those manes, so who knows? Uh, I think we'll just keep going along the back here, and we'll swing back um, as we go along. Aha! Easily the most popular um, animal remaster request is to the lion. So the West African lion here has seen a major glow up in terms of the head, the mane, everything about it has been changed to better resemble a real lion rather than the tunified lion that we currently have. So that one has a much blacker mane, whereas this one has the more um, golden band around it. But yeah, this lion looks absolutely fantastic. And it's, there are many key changes to it. And yeah, I, I'm really happy with some of the changes that have been done here. You also have some other subspecies that have been added in here. So the Transvaal and Katanga lions. I think are in here as well. Uh, not sure about the East African lion, but um, nonetheless, that lion looks fantastic. Another animal that sort of change is our Western chimpanzee, which has been given some extra fur textures, as well as the males having um, the be the small beards that they have under their chins. But some of the more notable changes are to the color pigmentations of of the chimpanzee's skins. So there's a lot more variation in that regard. So you can even have the darker skinned chimpanzees that you'll often see in zoos. And um, you can even have silver haired chimpanzees, all that sort of stuff. So you've got a lot of variation in terms of what kind of chimpanzees you can have. And yeah, they look fantastic. I really like how they look. Our last ape that had a remaster is the Western Lowland Gorilla. So these are only so far, like an, a, an orangutan remaster 
and a Bonobo remaster could happen la later on. But you're not quite in the light, are you? <laughs> but the Western Lowland Gorilla has seen uh, major glow-ups in terms of the textures, but also the intensity of their eyes. Their eyes are a lot more intense. The skin looks a bit darker, but um, the fur has been changed somewhat in its color and some of its intensity. So the, I know the male's got a lot shaggier fur around his wrists um, right there. So he looks really good there. Uh, into our little Congo exhibit that we have going on here, there are a good few animals. So first off is the mandrel. Um, let's have a look at one of our individuals. So the mandrel has been given a bit more intensity in its colors, some changes to the fur that I can tell. Um, but yeah, the mandrel looks really good. And like the intensity of the colors everywhere have been updated. So you can really see that here. Those colors are much more vibrant than they would have been previously. The Red River Hog has also seen a bit of a remaster in terms of giving it some extra color variations. So Red River Hogs have a surprising variety of variations that they'll have. So there'll be um, black-faced um, Red River Hogs, they'll be white-faced. Um, and just Red River Hogs have much paler faces than most others. Like, here you go, here's a good example. This hog has a much whiter face. Um, our Akapis also saw a few changes, particularly in the head and some of the, the textures and details on the body. So, yeah, it looks... A lot better now in my personal opinion and uh yeah you can particularly see some of the changes to the male's head so it's a lot more slender and yeah it looks great however my number one remaster in here is to the pygmy hippo the pygmy hippo has seen a major change oh look at that never really seen them yawn but they are not as chubby as before they have a bit more athleticism to them they're a lot thinner as for those who don't know pygmy hippos are actually better adapted for a land dwelling lifestyle than their common cousins or common much larger cousins so you can see here it, the legs are a lot longer and there's less of a belly to them a thinner neck and yeah easily one of my favorite remasters of um of the year so far is that this one only came out this year same with the mandrel but yeah, why are you guys all sitting down? I'm trying to get a, get a good look at you. And they've also had some up, update variations. Stop sitting down. <laughs> but yeah, these guys all look really good. And um, I don't know if this pygmy hippo was in before with the um, pinker throat. Um, may have been, just haven't seen it. But yeah, I really like how this pygmy hippo looks. One of my top remasters to recommend. Speaking of those larger hippos, we also have our... Hippo remaster by I think Narwhaler and yeah has seen some changes to the models um, in some ways there's a bit more detail that I can see to the legs as I haven't really noticed that before I think the head has also seen a bit of a change to bring it more in line um, with real hippos and there's also variation in the male's colors and well just all the colors really so you've got um, a much redder faced um hippo here whereas that one's a lot more gray but yeah they really look good these hippos look a bit better than the base game hippos although i feel like they could be somewhat a, li a little bit more athletic but that could just be me as hippos can actually run real fast <laughs> over here we have our flamingos which have seen some changes um to the thickness of their necks so it's a lot thinner and also the wing feathers have also been concealed. So there's no longer just the jutting out of those black flight feathers. So yeah, that's a, that's a really good change. The flamingos look ever elegant as, well, ever. <laughs> Another one of my favorite remasters is to the American bison. The base game bison are just all brown, really. Like they don't have those distinct blacker heads um, that you'll see them have. Or the shorter um, fur towards the their hindquarters. In this mod, you can really see the difference, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. And I think the females have also had their heads changed. They're not as similar to the males as they were previously. 
their heads are a bit smaller and there's not as much fur on them. So that's a really good change. Pronghorn ants like, oh, I didn't realize I got a piebald one. <laughs> Look at that. So we've got our piebald uh, uh, pronghorn antelope here, which I've seen a couple changes. The intensity of the colors, the fur details, and I think the pronged horns have also been either extended or made a bit sharper and thinner. But yeah, this really looks like the pronghorn antelope that I'd be familiar with. And yeah, they look absolutely fantastic. I'm going to say fantastic about all these mods because really they are fantastic. And here is one of the other most requested remasters to the big cats, the Jaguar. The Jaguar is one of the more stylized animals that we have in the game. But this one really um, emphasizes the color intensity of a Jaguar. And it's not as fluffy as before. Has a lot, has a much thinner fur coat. The head's also been changed a bit more to better resemble the skull of a Jaguar. And yeah, I just love this remaster. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, there's also some other variations that you can get. You can get um, a, a sort of browner Jaguar, um, a browner black Jaguar, and also this bright golden Jaguar right here. But yeah, the Jaguar looks fantastic after this. Galapagos Tortoise saw a bit of a remaster, mostly to the head, um, improving some of the details in the head shape and just some of the textures. So the beak is a lot more defined in its separate color and yeah i've been up close and personal with the galapagos tortoise and these certainly look a lot more like the galapagos tortoises i met like fantastic uh who next let's go our little red foxes here so the red fox it's pretty much perfect in plant zoo but the head has slightly been changed um there's not as much of a um there's not as much fur around the cheeks as there is in the base or well, i say base the twilight packs red fox and i think some additional variants were also added there's a much blacker red fox um added as well so i think this might be it um see oh yeah no that's our silver um that's our silver red fox ah here we go so a much darker red fox here and it's got a bit of piebaldism a lot of these red foxes seem to have a, a lot more piebaldism. Here's a more conventional one, though. And a couple of cross foxes, too. Over here, we have our foremost and black bears. So they've been given a bit more intensity. Their mane um, of hair has also been made, I think, a bit thicker and a bit more detailed. But overall, it looks much, much closer to the proper Asiatic black bear. Um... I didn't actually realize how small they were until I put them in this enclosure next to our Himalayan brown bears, which we're going to have a look at right now. So these guys have been made a lot more accurate to the Himalayan brown bears that you'd see um, if you looked it up on Google. Um, they really do look like um, living teddy bears. But um, yeah, with those big fluffy ears and everything like that like it's a real improvement it's not as similar looking to the grizzly bear as it is in the base game now it's got its own unique look a much fluffier cold weather bear um over here we have our alpine ibex which i think mostly just saw some changes to the textures um in some aspects of them the eyes i think look a bit brighter but um yeah i mean the alpine ibex i didn't really have any qualms with but uh yeah, you can see some changes have been made to some of the head shape. The male saw a couple of changes. Um, can't really see them as as well here on, on the actual model. I would have to look at the comparison again on the mod page. Like so, Some of these remasters are somewhat small details, but many of them do make some big changes. The Eurasian Lynx has seen a bit of a facelift. So the face of the Eurasian Lynx is much more akin to the real thing. The ears are changed a bit more. The eyes are a bit more intense. And it's also got some more pattern variations and colors that have been added, like this one. I don't remember seeing this one on the base Eurasian Lynx. This looks like something that was part of the mod. But yeah, it looks really good. Love how that looks. Another popular request for a remaster is the Bactrian Camel. 
um, the domestic battery in Camel is a lot fluffier than the one that we have in the game currently. And you can see here that has been exemplified uh, with this battery in Camel here. It is much fluffier. The, the snout, I don't know if it's been changed too much as Bactrians actually have a much thinner snout than they have a dromedary. Like, it looks a bit more um, like a Bactrians. But, um, yeah, other than that, looks really good. Um, the Shabolsky's horse also got some additional variants added. So, this is the Baydoon variant, which is the Shabolsky's horse that you'd probably be most familiar with seeing in zoos. So, these brighter orange horses um, in the habitats. Yeah, these are certainly the Shavolsky's horses I would have seen at um, a, a zoo out at Dubbo, the Taronga Western Plains Zoo, which is the last place I saw some Shavolsky's horses. Um, but these guys look really good here. Love these variations. I think you've also got this. This one's another variation. What's this one called? The Dark Brown Coat. Okay. <laughs> it's also got a um, black line going down the spine. Yeah, they all have that, it seems. But, uh, yeah, these Shavolskis horses look fantastic. There's also some um, additional variants to the Bactrian camel as well. The Babarusa saw a little bit of a change to some of its um, textures. It was also made slightly thinner, but most of it was in the textures. And I think some of the head. Um, the head was either extended and um, the ears made maybe a bit bigger or just uh, further out. But yeah, the Babarusa has always looked fantastic, and this mod just improves on that. Yeah, the head looks a lot longer, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Aha, one of my favorite remasters. To the doll. So the doll has been given a remaster, which brings it more in line with the dolls that you generally see in zoos. So dolls in zoos you generally see have this white underbelly. And, um, yeah, this doll really has that. It's a lot fluffier as well. Um, the dolls that we have in the game do resemble the more wild uh, doll variety. But um, this one here looks really good. I think we've even got piebald dolls um, as a new variant as well with, with this mod. But yeah, they just look fantastic. I love how they look. Ah, I'm going to do my throat out and <laughs> talking here. Um, Snow Leopard was another very popular remaster request. Um, the face has been changed to bring it more in line with the real, real life Snow Leopard, and has had some additional variations added to it. So you got some grayer ones, you got some whiter ones, yellower, browner. Yeah, there's a whole range of Snow Leopards that you can have in your zoos now. Really like this one. This one looks great. <laughs> but yeah, the head is the primary change for the Snow Leopard here. And, yeah, it looks fantastic. I love that. Um, and over here we have our clouded leopards, which are a very similar size. Well, hang on. I think I might... Oh, no. I didn't skip. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> I did skip an animal. The caracal. So the caracal had a few changes. The tail is a bit longer. The head's been changed a bit more. There's some cheek whiskers that were added. Some additional color variations. But I think one of the major changes was made to the male caracal, which might be one here. So it's got a bit more sexual dimorphism. Oh, I've never seen this animation where it's like prowling around. Um, so the male has its tufts um, curling out a bit more. And yeah, it looks great there. I did miss another animal. The Amor Leopard also had a remaster added in. Um, not so much in new color variations, but more to the head shape. So the head shape has been changed a bit more to resemble the Amor Leopard. And the eyes are no longer as um, sad looking as people were saying. Um, it really does look a lot better, in my personal opinion. It doesn't look as sad as it did before. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. What a beautiful animal. I um, can't remember who made it, but they did a fantastic job. Uh, let's see. We'll have a look at our clouded leopards now, who saw a little bit of a change to the face. So the face has been changed slightly. You can't really see it in the shadow, more in the light. So it has had a few changes to the, to the face. Uh, less so to the rest of the body, but um, 
when it comes to the cats in the game, it's more of a facelift that they need rather than a change to the overall body. Um, we also have our Garials, which saw a bit of a change. Now, the Garial, um, you can't really fix this locomotion with a mod, as Garials can't really hold their bodies up for too long like they currently do in the game. But the major change here is to the shape of the snout. So the snout is a lot thinner now. So Garials have really thin snouts for catching fish, and it's particularly um, visible on the females here, which have a much thinner snout. Much thinner, much more slender, and there's a couple of color variation changes as well um, that have been added in. I think this is our leucistic Garial. Uh, let's see. Yep, it is a leucistic Garial. And, um, I mean, that's not, uh, not the most leucistic animal I've seen, but... Yeah, the Gariel is another one of my favorite remasters here. Uh, we also got a Peafowl remaster, which um, wasn't really really a change to the model, but more to add um, a variety of variants that you can find in domestic Indian Peafowls. So you've got a bronze one here, you've got one with a brown neck. I think there's also an opal um, Peafowl that we have in here. Um, also got this darker, um, blacker Peafowl. Uh, I think it's one of the males that we have that's opal. Um, we do have a bright um, white peafowl. I think this might be our opal peafowl. Uh, yeah, so a lot more variation in the kinds of peafowls you can get. But the animal in here that has had probably the biggest change was our Indian elephant. Not so much in the tusks, but to the shape of the head and the color variation. So you can now have uh, much grayer Asian elephants now. And, yeah, they look really good. I love how these guys look. Oh, boy, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's just about every remaster that's had major changes um, done to most of the animals. Um, there was another one uh, to the uh, Red Ruff Lima. But, like, other than the model changes, there have also been changes to their Zoopedias. So you can have um, a look at a few different... Um, Zoopedia pages. Okay, I kind of now see it a bit more there. So you can have Zoopedias um, that have those remastered animals in them. Yeah, they look fantastic. You get a good look at the Bengal Tigers remaster there. The Black Rhino. I do actually, did actually really like the original Black Rhino's um, Zoopedia page. That looks really good. Um, Bongo there. I do hope we get a brown, Born in Orangutan remaster. As I'd love to see a um, lot longer hanging fur off the orangutan added in. So you've got a caracal, a cheetah, the clouded leopard, uh, ostrich, the warthog, the cougar, the doll sheep, uh, dharma gazelle, the doll, dingo. Has Yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> our emu, our Eurasian lynx, Mosin black bear, giant tortoise, Gemsbok, gharial. I also want to see a remaster of the giant anteater. I feel like it could look a bit different. Um, even one to the giant panda would be interesting. Although it, it's a giant panda. It doesn't really need to look too different from what it already does. Great flamingo, brown bear, uh, grizzly bear. There's a brown bear. <laughs> a hippo, our Indian elephant. Peafowls just remains the same. Jaguar. Looks very stoic there. <laughs> Got a koala there. Komodo Dragon is an interesting one that I feel like should get a remaster, but honestly, I'm not sure what it is about it. Like, it's more the skull shape that I feel like needs to be changed more, but, um, yeah. I mean, given that we've got an official remaster to the Malayan Tapir, remasters to other animals, I could see being a possibility. Mandrill. Meerkat, I feel, could use a remaster, as it does look a bit m more cartoony than it should. Um, the Moose, not sure. Don't, don't know whether it should get a remaster. Maned Wolf looks almost perfect. Like, I don't know if it should get a remaster either. There's a lot that I'm not sure on because they actually look so good. Now, our Monitor, our Babarusa, our Akapi there, the Zebra, the Polar Bear, Pronghorns, Schwalski's Horse remain the same. Uh, Pygmy Hippo, you can see the baby there. Um, it's a bit bigger, it looks like. Uh... Red Fox, our Red Kangaroo looking fantastic, the Red Panda. Red River Hog for some reason got to change Zoopedia, although I really did actually prefer the one beforehand. 
Red Rifle Lima got a little bit of a change, but I'm still not so sure what it was. Um, reindeer looking good. Giraffe. Sable. Oh, that's a Saiga. Salty. Sandcat. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, Siberian Tiger. Looks, <laughs> looks great. The Snow Leopard. Our White Rhino. Unfortunately, doesn't show the calf. Um, our Spotted Hyena. Our Springbok. And who else? Timberwolf, West African Lion. Oh, that is just magnificent. Western Chimp, Western Lion Gorilla. Yeah, you can see those intense eyes right there. But yeah, remasters would certainly help um, bring every animal, all these animals, uh, to a much more balanced position in terms of the overall quality of the animals in the game. And it is surprising how much a change to an animal's appearance changes my behavior towards them in the game like i want to build for them more i want i, I get excited when i'm able to build for an animal that looks so good and yeah I'd, I'd love to have that with all these animals and every animal in planet zoo should be should have balanced quality but as for now that is every all the remasters that i have access for except the red rough lima um well i say <laughs> have access to it's the only ones on the Nexus right now. And there are certainly a lot of them. It took me a while to get all these enclosures set up, even though they're so simple. All these enclosures set up and um, filled with all the right animals. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.